Hello, I'm Abia X Toy Cat, and here's an interesting question for you all because we all know 1.19 is the update that will finally add the deep dark to Minecraft. However, how many above ground biomes do you think they're updating? I mean, we did all watch the same Minecon Live trailer for this update where they showed off extensively the concept art and then the actual features and then the terrain generation for the swamp, but they only showed the tiniest bit of concept art for the birch forest. This one screenshot is all we saw, and that is the only other biome they mentioned by name, let alone showed features off, and so in today's video I wanted to answer this question as best we could, but first of all I'd quickly like to draw your attention to this video's sponsor, the Copper Golem. That's right, you voted incorrectly and you'll regret it in five years time. Speaking of things you did incorrectly, let's show you this Twitter poll that I did because I asked people, I don't know if Mojang even has a specific plan here, but I asked people how many above ground biomes they thought would significantly change in the wild update, and as you can see, very interestingly, 13.7% of people think just the swamp slash mangrove, they think the birch forest is just a potential addition. Another 27.6% of people think that yeah, we saw the birch forest on the swamp at Minecon Live. They didn't even reference other biomes, so it's quite unlikely they'll change them. Most people think it's three to five, with just 9.5% of people thinking they'll change six uh, biomes or more, which is very interesting for a update titled The Wild Update, which should be changing a lot of wild things. Uh, it's interesting that most people think it's going to be changing at most three to five different biomes, and that is a kind of pessimistic role to think about, but it makes sense that after the massive overpromise that was uh, 1.17, the Caves and Cliffs update, which isn't going to be fully finished until 1.19, except even in 1.19 we haven't had archaeology confirmed, and so realistically all of the features we saw last year at Minecon Live aren't going to be fully added in 2022. It makes sense as to why they're playing it safe. I think that some people who think that the Birch Forest isn't even going to come are maybe a little bit overplaying that a bit. I think for sure if they showed us concept art, it's one of the biomes they are seriously looking at and maybe somewhere in the development phase that isn't just adding it to the game, and obviously they showed us the swamp because it's a crowd pleaser. However, before we talk about what they're changing about the birch forest that we can tell from that same concept art, let me talk about what the other biomes would be if they do update biomes outside of those two. Those are the two biomes we have pretty much guaranteed they'll change in some way, outside of the, uh, the deep dark of course. Um, however, if you look at this concept art they showed at the very end of the show, it gives us a hint that if there was going to be a third biome, it would almost certainly be the forest. As you can see, they're showing off the mangrove, uh, you know, swamp pretty nicely here. It's very cool. I, I, I think this is a beautiful concept art. It shows off uh, the birch forest to the right there, and then all the way on the left, you can see how those aren't swamp trees anymore, and in fact, it looks a bit more like it's just a uh, forest. And I feel like, yeah, the regular forest in Minecraft has been the same for such a long time, and since they spun off birch forest since their own thing, it does seem a bit weird that we have random birch trees in there, and that's all that really makes them unique. It's just mostly oak, a few birch trees, and that's it. It would be cool if there was some unique reason to go specifically to the forest. And I know there are a few specific reasons. I mean, dogs and also just needing a ludicrous amount of wood and not caring what type it is. Uh, there are reasons to go to the forest, but it'd be cool to see those updated. Also, I imagine if they're going to update another biome, the jungle again, because we did see some of the footage of the swamp boats come from the jungles. But again, those jungles look the same. So maybe that was just a convenient backdrop. Who knows for sure? All I know is I'd like to talk about the birch forest today, because that is the only other thing we can say is pretty much confirmed. I mean, again, we've got this lovely picture of how the birch forests are going to look after 1.19 comes out. So let's talk about what this actually means, because immediately looking at it, there's so much information that it actually all kind of means nothing. I mean, the birch trees look different, the, the beehives look different, there are far fewer of them too. There are these weird mushroom things on the trees, and then there's probably new flowers here, but it's hard to really take it all in at face value. So let's talk about some of the key changing uh, features, because they've said they want to have a lot of natural light in this forest. Again, unlike the regular forests, where it actually can get kind of uh, crowded by all the leaves, the leaves are deliberately very high up, and also the trees are spaced out enough that this feels like a wide open biome. That's what they want from it. And then second of all, they want to make this presumably some unique place by itself. One of the big problems the swamp has right now is it's not that unique of a biome, even though they've added a fair number of things to try and change that. And so they want to make the birch forest more unique. And so there's a few ways they're doing that. And let's show you a lovely render that has been made by Drickem who of course added some of the new things into the game for the purpose of making these screenshots and helping us diagnose it from a more Minecrafty perspective. Here is a uh, rough look at what a new birch forest might look like, and as you can see, there's a few clear changes that you would have to make. Uh, one of them is changing the generation of birch trees. Right now, birch trees are just oak trees, but made from a different wood, and that is a holdover from when Minecraft had different trees, but they were all basically the same thing. Uh, now, they're trying to make the nature behind each type of wood more different, and of course, the birch tree is the most most 
similar and if we're being honest kind of useless tree we have right now because all it is is it's a oak tree except it doesn't drop apples and it gives you I'll admit a very beautiful wood but there's nothing so unique going on there so making the trees look different physically is a small step but it's a pretty decent one in my opinion and then it looks like these trees will also have something else on them to give you again something equivalent to the way that jungle uh, trees are massive and give you huge amounts of wood something equivalent to the fact that uh, you know tiger trees can be grown in two different combinations so maybe the equivalent of that is having these weird little mushroom growths on the side of them what these mushroom growths do I mean we can make up a use right now and I can tell you about it all excitedly but we don't know what they're gonna do again presumably Mojang doesn't have that fully planned out either but they want to have some unique reason to come to these trees and so as you can see they're all covered in mushrooms even in the the concept art but also our fun little render we have right here that's going to give you some real reason to want to get these trees we can imagine hypothetically it's a form of food we can imagine even in the most basic form it's a new way to get brown mushrooms in Minecraft wow okay you can go to a birch forest and you can harvest those things there are all sorts of different things they can do with this but again that's that's up for Mojang to decide how that bounces and etc but then the other reason to come to a birch forest besides the interesting new look besides the potential new use for these trees in the form of those mushroom growths um, is also the fact that new flowers were shown in that concept art maybe the concept art was made by someone who had no idea what was happening in the biome but realistically if they added new flowers to the concept art it's not solely because they thought it would look prettier it's because maybe just maybe they thought that they could uh, you know like add some new flowers and so of course there are new flowers which can look like this on the left the weird blue uh, you know pink growth on the ground or on the right as you can see there are some new white looking flowers and these do look pretty decent but between these new flowers and the moss I think it really does prove a interesting point that like yeah maybe the reason we didn't see more about the birch forest is because all it is is a redesign of the biome they are just taking the biome and they're rearranging it they're maybe adding one unique item or two unique items or you know small things that you'll go to the biome specifically for but they're making uh, you know more encouraged to explore your world and to see all of this beautiful new generation coming in both 1.18 and 1.19 I think adding more exploration based features to the game more reasons to want to explore your world I think that is a great idea and I think ultimately that is the goal of the wild update I think the wild uh, you know name in the wild update is really just implying its natural generation stuff you know it's mostly not about man-made things although mud bricks do exist uh, but it, the, the, to me the thing that the wild update is really doing is it's making the natural generation the things that Minecraft generates just a little bit better Hopefully they can use that as an opportunity to improve more biomes. Again, I would hope that biome improvements are actually one of the easier small changes they can work on. I mean, for instance, the birch tree right now, we can change the model for that. We can change the different structure uh, presets. We can add a new block on there. And that hopefully isn't a, you know, like a year and a half task, like adding the warden to the game. And so I hope that they can do this with more biomes. I hope that instead of doing this two biomes at a time, the wild update does take a substantial number of biomes we're all familiar with. We're all kind of bored with after 10 years of experiencing them. And it can make them a fresh new experience. And that is the uh, vibe I get when I look at these conceptual renders. That's the vibe I get when I look at the concept art. And that's the vibe I get from this entire update. Because just like how the Deep Dark and the Warden are a brand new experience underground, uh, it should be a new experience above ground if you haven't played Minecraft in a year. There should be new exciting things to pick up. And even for existing players who know they're going into the update with one specific goal, there should be these moments of beauty that 1.18 has shown us are so delightful when they're provided. And um, the reason I think we should see more of it in one update rather than just two biomes is because if they're changing the seeds every single update that is going to cause issues in the long run whereas if we can just update as many of the biomes as possible in one update then we can have a new set of world generation that can stick for future updates but again that is just my uh, take as someone who uh, personally thinks it's annoying when you pick a seed but like ooh, that seed expired in 1.6 or that, that seed expired then I think that change in Minecraft is beautiful but I think one of the big problems is that so many people's favorite old seeds I mean there's gargoyle which I only learned like a few years ago is named after a smurf uh, and apparently came from like an achievement hunter uh, let's play in 2010 like that is one of those famous seeds a lot of people know people know seeds like the 404 challenge and it's sad that those seeds went away but sure that's in the past but the current modern day seeds that people are pretty familiar with whether it's Krishak Zorgenzine or whether it's the infinite ravine seed rip or wh whatever it is uh, all of these seeds are ones that I think they should put some effort into preserving and if we need to change them because we want to change 
change the overworld, let's try and get it done as fast as we can, rather than splitting it into a series of updates that all slightly fracture the world generation. But that's just my take. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about the number of biomes they're updating. Do you think this is just a two biome update to get it done and out as fast as quickly? Uh, or do you think that no, they are going to update every biome, but they just haven't worked out how yet? I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. I will be streaming later today also, so make sure you check that out, assuming I'm not like sick. My, my voice still sounds pretty rough, so we'll see how it's sounding by tonight. But I hope you'll enjoy this video regardless, because I'll see you next time. Goodbye.